everybody. Welcome back to Codeman Blue Gaming here at the Codeman Blue Ranch. Those that have watched over on Twitch have seen me stream this, and those that haven't, well, welcome back. <laughs> We've got a couple chicken coops now. And then over in here, we got ourselves a big old piggy. That's bacon. And I, uh, I think bacon is just going to keep getting bigger as long as we keep feeding them. And I'm really excited for bacon to get big enough. Um, you know, the sad part about this game is, of course, that at the end of this month, they are resetting things. So this is going to go from, you know, we've done all this, we've got all this progress and got a house and everything, and then it's going to get reset, but it's going to, it's going to make the game a lot better. It's going to make it more fun, I think, because then we're going to be able to put these chicken coops wherever we want the chicken coops, not where the game wants them. And we're going to be able to put this barn wherever we want this barn. So I'm really excited for that. I think it's going to be awesome. But we're going to do a few things here today around the farm. We're going to check on Bacon, make sure he's doing all right. He looks okay. Looks like he needs some water. So let's see if we can find a bucket. Did I leave a bucket in here? We'll go find a bucket and we'll get him some water. Right now this coop is empty. We are going to fill that up. As you can see, this one has a lot of chickens in it, a lot of hens that are ready to get moved over. And we'll do that today as well. But let's go fill up Bacon's water. Make sure he's good to go. And he nearly emptied the bucket, so he definitely did need some water. We'll head over here and fill this thing up real quick. <laughs> and that's E, and then we'll get this pulled right back up. I haven't moved my chickens around yet because we don't have enough money to buy what we need. Um, so we do have a couple ways of making money, but ultimately we're not ready to do that yet. I'm just going to clean up some of their poop. Don't want it. I think, except for my face cam. That's not very good. Okay, here we go. I'm not sure what happened there with the camera, but for some reason it froze on us. It should be back to normal now, hopefully. We've got some eggs we gotta collect here. We cleaned up a bit of the poop in the chicken coop. And we'll collect these eggs and then we'll go check them and see if we have any baby chicks on the way. We'll check this drawer once more just to make sure. I think one of these has a chick in it just from the way it sounds like the chickens are reacting or the hens are reacting. Usually they get a little defensive when you pick up a baby. I keep doing that. <laughs> the drawers are a little difficult because it's the same button to add these to the basket as it is to open and close the drawer. And if you're off by just a little bit of it highlighting the egg, it does close the drawer. 
Yeah, that chicken is trying to attack us. But let's take these inside and see if we have any that uh, match or hatch. <laughs> so we're going to try to fill up all of these spots here. Oh, and it sounds like it's about to rain outside. And let me get a better view. So all of these eggs are not fertilized. So we're going to take and put these in our not fertilized basket so that when this gets full, we can go ahead and sell these for good profits. I'll take four more. And it's not an exact science for me yet because I'm just I'm not very good with mouse and keyboard myself. And the way this guy keeps moving. Oh, this one is got a baby hen in it, or a baby chick. You can see both of those do. So the ones that aren't are going to, again, go in this basket. The ones that are... Oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Whoopsie. The ones that are fertilized, we're going to take and put in our little nursery... One. Little nursery coop, which is only until they hatch. Once they hatch, I put them over into the bigger one. And they're all good. Get that closed up. Come on, don't get crazy. We're going to check this one just in case. And that one is not fertilized either. So we're going to take that and we're going to put that in to the basket. All right, so you guys might hear the dogs barking a little bit. That's because when I am recording this, somebody was putting off fireworks, which is okay. You know, it doesn't really bother me. But of course, two little dogs, they get a little bit scared and they're gonna bark. So we might, we're just gonna power through it to get this recording done. Um, I think we're going to go to sleep, wake up, and it's going to be a new morning. Unfortunately, even though it is a new morning, it's still all doom and gloom outside here. That's a bit sad. I believe some of those eggs might hatch. But we're going to do something because we, we need to grab a chicken. And um, unfortunately, this chicken here is going to have to go. So we're going to place uh, chicken tenders down right here. Switch over to our pistol. And we're going to we're going to say goodbye to chicken tenders. Goodbye, chicken tenders. To me, I think it's better that I take chicken tenders away from the other chickens. I know. I want to get the electric thing that isn't supposed to be as bad as doing what we just did. But, um, yeah. I wonder, can we boil chicken tenders? No. We can't do that just yet. Let me see if there's something I can do with this. No, it won't let me do that either. I want to get rid of the water in this bucket, but I don't think it's going to let me. There we go. Now I got it. 
So then we take this back inside, we put this here, and we're going to grind up chicken tenders. Unfortunately, they're not going to be chicken tenders anymore. Now they're going to be ground chicken. Then we're going to put chicken tenders in here, and we're going to turn chicken tenders into chicken sausage. Um, then we, we pick up chicken tenders, and we put her in here on the shelf. And that's going to cure overnight, or during the day. It's going to take pretty much the entire day. There we go, we got a new baby chick. And we'll probably get them out of here as soon as we can. We're going to grab one more chicken. We're going to need some money, and I think we have enough that I can totally take a couple of them and be okay. So let me run back here quick. Unfortunately, right now, this is the only way we have to do it. We'll take the skin off, pick up the, the whole roasted chicken. Unfortunately, we can't roast the chicken. Otherwise, I do know a great recipe. No. <laughs> and we'll put this one in here. Pick this up, put it in there, put this back. Click on this and make us some sausage. Then we'll take it and we'll hang it. Then I still think we have a lot of hens there, but we just don't have enough yet. How's big old bacon? Bacon's over here looking pretty thick. Like, he's about to be some thick-cut bacon. And, uh... Honestly, we're gonna hope that we can make enough money off of bacon to buy another pig. <laughs> and I know it makes it a little more sad when we're putting names to these animals. But, um... Unfortunately, we're gonna we're gonna take bacon, and we're gonna we're gonna make some bacon with them. Let's see. So it's gonna give us one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16 pieces of pork. And then we're going to process it kind of like we were doing with chicken tenders and uh, chicken breast. And uh, we'll get that hanging up as well. Um, we might not be able to hang it all up in there, and that's okay. We'll do what we can, and then the others we can boil and still make more money. So, we'll come back once I do that, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, here we are. We've got the sausage that is going to be salami in here hanging up. Some of it is chicken. We got two that are chicken. The rest is going to be pork. When it's all done, we're going to take it. We're also going to cook the rest of the pork sausage. I'm just going to show you guys the difference in prices. Um, I just think it's a good idea to do that. And we'll put these in here. Oh, can't do that yet. we got to fill the bucket. Put that there. Pick this up. Put it in here. Hit cook. And cooking it is really quick. The only process that takes a while is curing it, which makes sense, of course. We'll fill this up again. We're gonna need some water. So while this one cooks, we'll go ahead and go get some more water. Splash. 
I like the splash sound. They did really good with that sound effect. There we go. Back into the kitchen. Grab this one, put it in the cooler. Grab this, fill that up, put that back down. Grab this, cook it. And the cycle continues. <laughs> and grab it, fill it, drop it, grab it, cook it. And I figured the chicken sausage, it'll just give us a look at how all the stuff sells, like prices and stuff for you guys. I know things could change with the update that's coming. I don't think pricing is going to change, but we'll see. It's this stuff is at 40%. The chicken's at almost done. So we just got to kind of wait for this to finish. Then we'll be all set. So we have seven boiled sausage. And then we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cured sausage and two raw because I accidentally pulled them out of the bucket instead of putting them into there. And there's just nothing else we can do with it. So this chicken one's done. I'm going to put that in here. This one's almost done in the back. Oh, maybe not. So let's go ahead and check the eggs again. We've got three, four, Keep doing that. Five. So we got eight eggs here today. I'm thinking one of them is at least going to have a chick in it. That's okay. And all of those look like they are not fertilized. Fine by me. We'll pop, pop them right into our basket over here. Now get in the basket. There you go. Looks like we have one that is fertilized right there in the front. Let me get a closer view just to make sure you guys can see it. Um, this one right here is fertilized. There's a better view for you. Take the ones that aren't, pop them into the basket. Did they go in the basket? I think it went in the basket. <laughs> Where's our little guy? We're going to take him out of here if we can get him. Hey there, little guy. And we're going to pop him over here. 
And then we're going to have to clean out this pen tonight. Let me grab the bag of seed, or not seed, but uh, feed over here. And we're going to take and put that into the trough because these guys are out of food. Hopefully that'll last them just long enough that we can get to tomorrow and buy them some more. And this one is done here in the back. Just got to get it at the right angle. And we'll make sure we put it into the right bucket or cooler. And then we'll get this loaded into the back of our orange cart. And then it's going to be just a waiting game. These ones should be done probably by the time morning comes. And then we'll be able to take and sell those. Will it let me go to bed? It's too early. So we have to wait just a little bit, I think, until the clock is at 20, which isn't going to take very long at all. I can tell you guys that I do really enjoy this game. I stream it quite a lot. Just because it's it's one that I enjoy. Even though it is, it is very grindy. Like it's a game that you're gonna grind to get to this point even. Like this doesn't seem like a lot. This is a tiny little house. But it definitely takes a lot to get to this point. Um, a lot of the same things, repetition, you're out here hunting a lot, um, you know, we had just gotten bacon a couple days ago during a live stream, and it was, it was time to, to turn bacon into sausage. <laughs> so, I mean, at least that's good, the animals get big pretty quick, um, it takes eggs about three days to hatch for the ones that hatch. I know my goal is to make it so that we have two different coops. So this one is going to be a fertilized coop. I'm probably only going to keep a couple hens in here. This one over here is going to become just a non-fertilized egg coop. So that the eggs in here are ones that we can just throw into that basket when it's time to sell. Okay, so these are done now. So that took about half of the end game day, I want to say, if that makes sense. And then these ones are almost done, like very close. So it's just going to be waiting. And I'm going to wind up wrapping up this episode in the morning when we take this stuff to the store after we get a good look at the prices, grab some feed for the chickens, and get them fed. Excuse me. And then these shelves, or when we do do cows, probably not going to be until after the game resets itself. But when that does happen, those shelves are for cheese. Uh, do we have enough eggs? I don't think we're going to do that. We're going to go up to bed for now. And then when it's time in the morning, we're going to head over to the store. Actually, we'll go to the restaurant first because usually they could give us one and a half times for what's there. So we'll do that first. I'm 
driving mouse and keyboard is still something that is new to me. <laughs> but, God, I am just awful at it at times. So bear with me, guys. And I know my little camera thing and with my supporters underneath it is kind of blocking some of the controls. I feel like those people deserve recognition, though, because they're helping me out over on Twitch and by donating to, you know, my, my goal is to one day make it so that making content and streaming is a career for me. And those people that share and follow and and subscribe over on Twitch. I really do appreciate them so much. Let's see. So today pork meatball is 1.9 times. So it's a good thing we made a mistake with those pork meatballs because we're going to get a little extra money. Eggs are 1.9 times. Maybe we should have brought those but that's okay. So if we look here if we were to sell everything, which is what I'm going to do anyways, um, we're going to make $942, which is perfect. That's going to be enough for us to go buy another pig and a lot of feed. Um, the pork beet balls, so that 1.9 times multiplier, brings those up to $47.50, which is actually more than the pork sausage would sell for when it's boiled. Now, when you cure that pork sausage, that sells for $60 a pop, which is a much better deal than anything here. Uh, the chicken sausage also sells for a good amount, $56 a pop. That's good. I'll take that. So we're going to sell everything, and then we're going to head over to the store. There's a deer. I would normally hunt it, but we're going to let it go this time. This time it's lucky. Uh, the one thing you'll notice in this game, obviously, is the physics are a little off. Sometimes, just a little. But it is a really enjoyable game, and I do recommend it. And no, obviously I'm not paid to say things like that because who's going to pay the guy with 35 YouTube subscribers to say things like that? You're just getting my honest opinion. I think it's a game that a lot of people would enjoy. So if you do like games like this, I recommend it to you. So we're going to spend about half of our earnings there. That's okay. You know, I'm expecting it. Oh, there's going to be goats at some point. That's going to be cool. And the one thing I do really enjoy about this game, and you see it right here, is that the devs are planning to add stuff. Obviously, the update at the end of this month is going to be adding stuff. But you're going to have some different cows, some different animals like sheep and goats oh nope we had to buy that stuff so let me buy the cart and we have 495 dollars left over so definitely do enjoy the pig even though he's trying to run away
So hopefully we can fit all this grain in one shot. That's my hope. It's not looking likely. All right, so we'll have to come back for those. Let's go ahead and get this stuff home. I may even consider coming back and getting another pig, because we do have enough money. keeps doing that. It's very weird. But you guys are going to see my face frozen there in the corner. But hopefully you can still see the game playing the way it should be. And I'm not very worried about my face. Come here. Don't you don't you run. Don't you run from me. Oh, you got caught on the front of the car. You little butthead. Obviously running, we're getting too far away from him. We're still getting too far away from him. Get over here. He's still got some food, so that's okay. But we do have to go feed the chicks. So I'm going to put pretty much as much of this in there as we can. Probably at least two bags. should be good for now. We have another new baby chick over here. And we'll have three on the way. Well guys, this is where I'm going to wrap things up for today's episode here of Ranch Simulator. I am Cody, aka Codeman Blue Gaming. Those that watch the stream know who is there behind me. The big peep that is Steven. And then, of course, we got some Squishmallows back there of Grogu and Buzz Lightyear. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I do really appreciate you.